I'm the Mariner, and this is Deep Dive Gaming. What do you do when you need a roof over your head, food on the table, and supplies with which to build? First thing you do, get a hammer. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to finish up our If I Had a Hammer quest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lay down some extra industrial, we'll lay down some agriculture, put in some houses. I can't remember if I mentioned it last time or not, but it's not place anywhere that's the mod that I have installed, it's place everywhere. And the reason we have that is to be able to do uh, the residential plots on internal areas like in houses so I'll show you how to, how to do that first of all what we're gonna want to do oh I also straighten this out um, off camera to make it a little easier later on when we lay down more industrials um, also let's go ahead and see if we can lay down a generator to power these power this row of industrial plots once we get going here. So just to review oops wrong button. Just to review we have this quest here. Assign agriculture and or industrial plots to, for your settlers to build in sanctuary. Assign residential plots for your settlers to build in sanctuary. Um, also I'm just noticing that we have leveling to do so let's go ahead and let's do that part first so like I've said before we want to select things that give us experience to, so one area that I thought about doing is I believe it was science let's see Trying to remember what I what I was <laughs> figures as soon as I get started I forget what I prepared. So uh, la, 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 la. I think it was um, yeah for what's relevant for building let's go ahead and do science and then we will also go ahead and select. What was it? Shoot. Oh, maybe it was strength for armor. Yeah, let's go ahead and pour it, put some. Okay. It's probably proved to be a mistake later on, but we'll deal with it then. Alright, so. We have an house. But we need more residential plots prepared. Let me go ahead and gather some resources here. Wood is going to be in a hot supply. And it's not going to be something that we're going to get to have. It's kind of like adhesive in some settlements too. You're always needing it and can never find it. So let's do, let's come in here. And I'll show you how to do a residential plot with place everywhere. We'll go ahead and leave the, exit, the living room open, built because we're gonna we're gonna use some of this furniture when we get to do our recreational plots, which will also be indoors. But let's go ahead and hijack this bedroom. Sorry, Sean, but uh, we kind of want the space here okay so residential plot interior so here's the advantage for place everywhere so on PC which I think I've mentioned before I know I'm using a Xbox Xbox controller for most of this but you do need the keyboard for this a little bit we're gonna do F2 that takes surface snap off 
and then we can use the controller holding down the A and then using the left joystick we can move this into place and then to raise it up just a little bit we're going to hold A and then the left bumper and then use the control stick left control stick again to just get this so we can try and line it up with the floor and then we're going to move it just a little bit to try and get it straight and then we'll check the floor unfortunately this floor has lines so we can actually see if we got it reasonably straight and i think we did oh do 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 hey look it's old paul all right we're going to do another one in here i don't really need a bedroom i've got the root cellar we'll go ahead and put the second one Ooh, someone's already got that occupied sweet Okay, so again, A plus the left stick gets us in here. Now, I have done this before without the Place Anywhere mod, or Place Everywhere mod. And it's incredibly difficult, but it can be done to get these interior plots in to fit in some of these rooms. Uh, there are some rooms where this doesn't work so well. Um, usually we don't try and go for like the, the rooms that are like one by one or in here and so now we're gonna oops okay I guess we'll go around old Paul and come in here and we're going to until we get municipal plots um, we're gonna need to make our own power so having science will help with that because that means we can make bigger generators down the road. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, I think, put this here. And you'll notice this is also benefiting from the place everywhere mod because we, we're not, we don't have to do surf, worry about the surface so much. We can make it look like it's kind of dug in, which I kind of like. And then, yay, we've got a conduit. Okay, for this we do want to turn on surface. Um, simply because I think it messes with being able to set that up in a wall. Someone's got this plot going, sweet. Okay, now that conduit should transmit enough power to both of our plots here. And Paul, you're in the way. This is going to get tiresome quick, man. Okay. Ooh, look. This plot's all done. Let's check this. Could probably come out a little bit from the wall, but... So we'll tweak it just a little bit here. New. No. Be sure to put your surface net or activate the uh, mod or the turn off surface snapping when tweaking these positionings otherwise you're gonna be in for a world of hurt trying to get it back where it was okay this guy is still being built we'll check on him a little bit uh, if we put our cursor down here we can see it is powered this one also so that means these should be set to upgrade sooner because they'll have the power requirements they need in order to do that happiness will be a thing here soon um you know what i need these guys out of my way so i'm gonna try to see if i've got what i need to build this the desk so if you come over to the ss2 so yes right here is the city planner's desk this allows you to craft two things we'll go ahead and do that really quick come in here to craft um I don't, okay city manager tools good we need that that will help town meeting gavel will also help and what these do is allow you to have control so you don't always have to run back here to do stuff and we will also assign these they're in the aid category of your inventory we're gonna 
do a favorite setting here. We're going to put the city manager there. Then we're going to put the... Where is it? Town meeting gavel over here. Okay. Now, this, let me show you some functionality here. Town meeting gavel. Back to work. This sends everybody back to where they were. If you've summoned them, gather around. This will bring everybody to you. Gather unemployed. This will find everybody who's not working and bring them to you. This will gather the homeless who are, and bring them to you. Gather the board. Or time for reassignment. This takes everybody's assignment away and allows you time to reassign people. We're probably not going to use this one ever. Because I'm going to trust the auto assign to give people jobs. I'm not going to be too finicky about where people are living or where people are working. Um, we will occasionally need to assign someone with a certain skill to a certain plot. We'll get into that later. So let's do gather around. Get Paul out of the doorway. Okay. Now if we say... Oops. Back to work. Yay, it's cleared. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> and then I just realized we don't really need back in there. We've done everything in here. Okay. So, how are we doing on that quest? We got three, five. Okay. Next question how many people do we still have to get? So, we'll gather the home and see if we've got how many people we have left. Hopefully, it's two. One, two, three. Oh, old Paul doesn't have a place to live yet? Okay. So, next next place we'll put some rooms. I don't think there's room in here. Uh, yeah, these rooms are too small, so we'll probably use these for storage or something. Let's go ahead and... What we're trying to do, just to comment on our goal here... We're trying to unlock multi-person homes so that these houses out here can be multi-person. Because if our goal is to have as many settlers as possible, we will need multi-home housing. Because we don't have enough rooms in the houses that exist here to cover everybody. Now, let me show you another trick. So this wall, we don't like this wall for living space. I mean, would you live here if this wall were like this? I don't think so. So we're going to come in here. Going to do a wall. We'll go ahead and do this one. It's a little junky, so it kind of matches the, the interior here. And then, again, notice our surface lock is off. If we were to turn it on, see, it's not going to let us position these exactly where we want them so turn that back on and then this one's going to be a little tricky so we'll probably have to position it a couple of times here um actually we made nope i can see that we're a little off so we'll go ahead and whoops controls are a little sensitive i can to get a little bit of trigger or button bounce okay so yep and then we put another one on here. This is the tricky one. This is the one. Um, we would like object of snapping, but we don't can't seem to do that and surface at the same time, or have surface snapping off. I wonder. Let's turn surface snapping on, and see if we can get this to snap. I don't think we can. Okay, turn that back off. Plug this in here. Try and get it as straight as possible. Not bad, but not quite. Now we can get a little better. Since we can get closer, we'll try using the existing grid as our guide. Try and mesh it up as soon as much as we can to the its buddy. Okay. I think that's acceptable. Okay. So here's the trick. So once you've got your wall in, let's turn on surface snap. Come in here, select our interior plot, and then we should be able 
to snap it to the wall. But let's try and bring it in a little bit because it's, whoops. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, so bring it out here. Bring it closer. 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 There we go. Move it over this way a little bit and then head back in. These two should, this should snap onto that wall if we can get it lined up. Um, you know, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag this out here. We're going to drag the other wall out here. Might be more suited to doing it the other way, but I want to show you the trick. So there's that. Now that should be snapping. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I've got it on the wrong side. I bet you. Bet you. Uh, oh, oh, yep. Yes. Oh, okay. Now does it go the other way? Aha! Got it. Okay. So go ahead and build, and then we can. I think we can prevent it from upgrading temporarily. So activate. Uh, we have to wait for the plot. Let's try this again. Ah, oh, no! Activate. Activate. Cancel construction. If your building ha still hasn't finished initial construction, you'll receive a full refund when scrapping it or changing the plan. After initial construction completes, you can get a 50% refund of the cost of the most recent level. Okay, I'm <laughs> I never took the time to actually read that, so it's good to know. Okay. But that should cancel. Okay, cool. Okay. So now we can take, if you hold down the A on your controller, PC users who use keyboard only, can you throw in the comments what it's going to be to do all this with just keyboard controls? Thanks. F2 to remove the surface snap. Uh, oopsie, I lost it. Where'd it go? Why is it doing that? Okay. Ah, it's triggering on something. Come here. Okay, we're gonna have to do it from here because if I let go of the A, it's gonna do something weird. We're not ready for that. Uh, I can't turn. Unfortunately, the paddles will let me turn this thing. Ah, darn it. Okay. We have to line this up outside and get its level. I think it's because it's... <laughs> what? Why is it all the way out there? I think it's probably because... Ah! Dig it. It's probably because the residential plot is plugged into it and it's giving me grief because of that. So we have to drop it and then pick it up and then move it and then drop it and pick it up and then move it and then... Fortunately, we can see where we're, where it's going when we can try to line it up to the lines. Okay. How's that look in the wall? It's probably cattywampus. Yeah, it's sticking out. Dang it. We'll get there. Probably take up an entire video just doing these, but that's okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think I'm happy with that. I think the wall's a little high, but that's okay. Do do do. Start construction. You may now begin. Okay. And we got room in here to do another one. I'm gonna do this one a little tricksy. We are gonna remove these. We're gonna pick these guys up and throw them out the window. A bit. Ugh. Wow, did you hear that thud? That was a loud thud for such a bit of a small piece of fly. And toss. I guess not. Yeah, that's really loud. That's weird. Okay. Anywho. Ooh. 
Bip, bip. And we'll stop for good measure. So we've got a nice handy entrance here. And then we've got plenty of wall, but we've got this weird sort of nook. It's going to throw us off, and there isn't really enough room over here for that ASAM sensor to fit without really tweaking this. So instead, I'm going to have the ASAM sensor on this wall. So we're going to do what we've done before. Bring this around. Turn it around. Raise it up. Move it over. And then we can line it up with the wall really nicely, too. Boom. I think, I think it's a little low. There. How does that look? I think, oh, it's the ASAM sensor stuck out from the wall a little bit. Tweak it a little more. Okay, see how it's so when it's built, it's gonna block off this hallway, but I think, but that just will be coming in from this. Well, whomever will be coming in from this side. Can't see the sensor though. I want to see if the sensor works or not. I think it works. Okay. Same trick as before. We're going to power these up by using. Uh oh. That's sticking through the wall. We don't like that. We're going to come this way. Grab, with, uh, grab with the plot. Pull it this way a little bit. And it's getting night out. Hey, hey, look at that. We got the five residential plots we need. Woot, woot. Yeah. Oh, man, it's still sticking through. Yeesh. Builders must love this part of the game. Even with some elements, too. It's not easy getting things lined up. Um... I think that'll go away once it's done being constructed. I think we don't need to be finicky. That or that finicky. Probably boring you guys all with this anyways. But the trick, the, the idea is to show you these things so you can be prepared. So you can be prepared. Yep. How's this look? How does this look? Powered. Powered. Perfect. This will work as long as we've got and can make enough generators. We can make three more this size generator. I think we'll be okay. Okay. So we've got our housing for now. Five people, five beds. Perfect. Um, we'll have more need a need here soon for more housing but let's do you know what? I'm gonna go take care of the night falling situation and then come back and we'll resume I think this video is probably gonna run long so we'll finish the phase one of if I had a hammer and then we will get into the next part in the next video. So hang out for me for just one moment. There we go. Nice sunny day. Hopefully it doesn't get ruined by weather. So we are going to come in here. We've already got building materials started. We're going to go ahead and do a second one to help with our generation because we'll need these building materials soon so there's that I'm just curious to see if I got this I think I got it straight it's hanging out about to evenly across there we 
can't set these to anything other than building material. Once this levels up to level two, we'll be unlocking <coughs> organic materials. Then we can change this one to make it into organic. Or we can put down put down another industrial plot for organic. We'll see. The more building materials, straight up building materials one you get you have, the more likely you'll have what you need to build for a while. I do have a resource management add-on or add-on for SS2 installed as a mod. So at some point we'll need to set that up. I don't think we're there though yet quite. Oh yeah, we were gonna, this garden never did a thing. Let's try refreshing. And it's not gonna let us. I wonder if the script is stuck. I wonder, we may have to report this guy. Okay. That's weird. Okay, fade it out. Okay, so we want a bigger farm plot anyways because we got a lot of mouths to fill. So this space, I like using this space because it's nice and big and relatively flat. Sorry, dude. We'll give you back a job in just a moment. Plus, with the uh, 3x3, Agriculture plot, we could give three guys a job all at once. And then, according to King Gath, um, one 3x3 three three plot is equal to three one by or two by two plots. I think that's the metric. If, you, if I'm wrong about that, please comment. I want good information. Um, presented in these. I don't want to be wrong and not know it and have people mad at me because I led them astray. So if it's good, uh oh, I hear wind coming. So like I said, I want this to be a reliable video series to help people learn and plan and uh, know how to do these things. And I'm going to have to come around here and see if that lined up. Uh, sort of. I think it's a little more cock cockeyed. Okay, let's move it some more this way. Wow, I really I did that way deep in there. I shouldn't have, should have done it from this side. I can hear the construction. Okay. And again, they build a fence on the rear end, so we should be able to see as long as that fence is showing okay. I think we're going to be straight-ish. Actually kind of nice not having the Quincy 5 standing there in the way doing, the ha doing unnecessary hammering. And we have rain. Oh, look at that. Building materials already. I think... Ooh, I think that might just be because uh, it wasn't actually unlocked before. It was... Oh, that's right. So, our first plot is always going to be junk. The stranger always makes a building materials plot, but it's the junk, having a junk plot means that we get the building materials plot. And so I'm going to stop this video here. I will prepare for the next one, fix the weather. I love rain in real life. I don't like rain so much in the game. I'm still debating on whether to lock the weather to be nice for building. I haven't heard back from anybody yet on comments about whether they mind weather or they like bright days. But I'm going to go ahead and fix it. So anywho, stay tuned for the next episode where we will do part B of If I Had a Hammer. Which is to assign, which is to greet the newcomers. We'll get a new NPC out of it. So, 
see you soon.